Out of all the changes to Angular over the last year, somehow doing this feels the most significantly different. Compared to other new features like signals and standalone components, the control flow syntax probably has the least impact overall. But coding with this new syntax feels very non-Angular in a good way. Instead of the originally proposed Svelte style handlebar syntax, the Angular team decided to go with what they are calling at syntax after community feedback. As soon as I saw that a pre-release version of Angular 17 was available that included the control flow syntax, I refactored a few of my projects with the new syntax. So here's some interesting examples from those projects. This one I think is a good example of the new approach being cleaner and more intuitive with this nested conditional logic. Not only does it make the code more compact overall, but it also makes it more visually obvious that we are conditionally displaying some section, and then within that conditional section, we have another condition. However, this one, I think, is a bit more of a win for the old style ngif syntax. If we have just one thing being displayed conditionally, I think you can argue that the old syntax does look more appealing. There are always trade-offs though, and this is a trade-off I'm willing to make for the other benefits. So one of those other benefits is in the for loops. Again, this sort of adds a little bit more boilerplate to create the loop. Not anything significant in my opinion, but the big benefit is the new approach to tracking. Writing track by functions has always been one of my pet peeves with Angular, and I've always wanted something more ergonomic by default like the way React handles keys. With the new syntax in Angular, we can just directly provide what we want to track by without having to write a separate track by function. Another cool little feature here is that we can create an empty block that will be automatically displayed if our for loop is empty. We also still have the ability to create aliases with as and pipes still work just like before as well. What is perhaps the most interesting and significant addition is the new defer block, which I haven't had a chance to play around with properly yet. I'll probably do that in another video, but in short, it gives us a way to lazy load dependencies in our template, deferring the load until some condition is met which in certain conditions could significantly reduce load times. But keep in mind that these features have not been officially released yet, uh, but if you want to play around with it now, you can do so by installing this version of Angular and adding the following block to your TS config. I'll have links to the examples I used in this video in the description if you need a reference. Please consider a like or subscribe before you go to help spread this video, and I hope to see you back here again for the next one.